Now, Jed, don't be mad at me. I'm sorry. Look, I've come all the way to Arden Street, home of the mighty kangaroos. I've promised Jed that he's going to see some kangaroos. He might be able to chase a few and maybe round them up. But they're not here. They're training somewhere else. Sorry, mate. Don't lie down on the job. They're training somewhere else or maybe they've already left because they're playing on the Gold Coast this week. They're playing the Brisbane Lions, who used to be Fitzroy, who used to play at the Brunswick Street Oval. We've already been there. Now we're at Arden Street, and they're up playing in Brisbane, and I'm going to try and stand up now. Yeah. OK, Arden Street. They played here till whoo, the 80s, I think. If you have a look behind me, there's not much. That's because... Until a couple of months ago there was a grandstand there but somebody burned it down and now they're trying to build a new one but I don't think they're getting very far. Where would they change around here? This is another fantastic inner suburban ground. Like there used to be a huge gasometer over there uh, sort of overshadowing the whole ground, the gasometer at Arden Street. It was a landmark. There was a player called the Galloping Gasometer. His name was Mick Nolan. You wouldn't remember that, Jed, but he really used to start big bloke, big Mick. It's a scene of heaps of stuff here. I remember Bobby Muir decking the current Brownlow medalist Keith Gregg here in the late 70s. You know, you're not supposed to do that, Bobby. You're supposed to leave those blokes alone. Anyhow, it was in the shadows of the old burnt down stand there on a dark day in June or July and bang, Bobby hit him. And uh, probably got about four weeks for that. I've seen us lose by 20 goals here. I've seen Cowboy Neil playing like the end of his 300 and something games. He was captain and fullback and he had to go up there and play on somebody brilliant, probably Blight or somebody. In fact, I think we might wander over there to where Malcolm kicked that 85 metre drop punt. No, it wasn't a drop punt. It was an 85 metre torpedo, the one that brought the house down. And uh, we'll just see if I can emulate that.